TJ and I are gonna build a game in seven days, only using Cursor and Lua. I know, can you believe Lua's it's a, a combination real- combination made in heaven. One-based programming. I am so excited about that when it comes to game mathematics, but don't worry, we'll be using Cursor to do everything for us. Now, the game we're gonna be building is a tower defense, my most favorite genre of all time. TJ, you love tower defenses? I know, we've been talking about how much we both love Balloons TD, particularly we've, Six. <laughs> we have literally never talked about that, and I do not like Balloons. It is not a real tower defense. Warcraft 3 is the only tower defense there balloons is. Balloons TD Six was first. You can't just build a game in seven days, okay? No, 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 no. I don't care how talented you think you it are. It doesn't matter how many special guests you have. No, we have several, by the way. It doesn't matter how many devlogs you post every Which day. Which we're gonna be posting daily devlogs for the entire week so you can see the progress without having to tune into the entire live stream. But the most important part of the whole thing is we're gonna be live from this tower right here, and we are going to live, breathe, and eat tower defense, and we will complete a game in seven days. See you live on Twitch. Let's learn a little bit more about the game. I hate that kind of transition, no. <laughs> I'll see you live. <laughs> We're gonna be live on Twitch to the tower. <laughs> to the tower. <laughs> TJ and I are gonna be writing a game from scratch in seven days using Lua. Today is day number one the day before the event starts. And so let's kind of talk about the game we're gonna build. When I was young, I loved playing Warcraft 3. Warcraft 3 allowed you to build anything you wanted and specifically allowed you to play so many different tower defenses. And I loved tower defense, but the one that I loved the most Bloons was TD6. It's not Balloons! Balloons is not even a tower defense. Balloons TD7. <laughs> This is Balloons 8, okay, okay buddy? Balloons, okay, all right. Yeah. All right, so Cube Defense allowed you to have all sorts of fun mechanics, and one of the big things that I loved about it is it allowed multipliers, so you could do splash ice, you could do poison if you combine those two together. The guys go ultra slow, it allows for amazing, but there's also a they large They had a glue path. gun in Balloons TD. If you mention Balloons again, I am literally gonna throw a punch <laughs> you. Okay, so I just love tower defenses. TJ loves tower defenses, but the thing is is that TJ also loves card games, Bellatro. Uh, I introduced him to Slay the Spire. Actually, I didn't introduce him. Low Level I, Learning introduced me, and I kept telling and you. Low and Low Level kept telling us, guys, you need to bring your magic cards. Are we going to play magic? And this we're week? not playing no. magic. There's no, no magic here. No. Um, anyways, but this is where the magic happens. Oh. Uh -huh. Ooh, got him. Got okay, him. anyway, so we want to create a tower defense that's inspired by Bellatro, that's inspired by Slay the Spire, but still is kind of like the tower defense core mechanics. And without the like incessant monetization of every single tower defense yes. game that's been built since Bloons TD6. <laughs> I did say Warcraft 3. It's Warcraft 3. Okay. It's Warcraft, Warcraft 3. 3 is the thing. Yeah. Okay. But yes, we want to build something that's not a mobile. crappy mobile game. Because that's one of the hardest parts about this is that every mobile game has ruined gaming and is specifically tower defenses. They are all terrible. You hit some sort of wall where either you're shilling money or you're done playing the game. And so we want to actually create something that's gonna be a genuinely fun experience. And so this is our idea. This is what we're going to build in seven days. It will be a 24 hour, seven day stream in which most of the time will be spent actually building it live. Hopefully 14 to 18 hours a day of just pure generating code and crushing it with AI and doing everything we can to get this done seven days. So did you mention by the way, where we are? Oh. You may notice that we're also kind of high up, higher than all the buildings out here. We're in a tower, a specifically a water tower. A former water tower turned Airbnb turned game studio for this week. Clearly game studio. Yeah. We got a lot, by the way, we have a lot of good guests coming up. Oh, oh you are gonna so wanna many. tune in live. And so uh, to kind of give you the high level pitch is that you're gonna have three possible characters to play. Our goal is to complete the game with just one of the characters by the end of this week. Yeah. And so we're gonna have a physical character, which we don't really have a good name for him yet. The everyday hero, the common man, the, the He the literally blacksmith. said everyday hero and that he wanted his own avatar to be the profile picture. I'm just saying, I'm a regular guy, okay? If there, there was go. such thing as being a blue collar person in tech, I feel <laughs> like I'm that guy. I like to, he puts his pants on one leg at a time. He's yeah. got a mustache, he's got a mullet. You love him, he's I can't lift hero. heavy things without hurting my wrist. I'm a regular person, okay? <laughs> Uh, then we're gonna have like a wizard class, right? So it's something that's gonna be vastly different from this, very different gameplay. And then finally, the one that we're most excited about, the futurist. Anna where gonna, Pranism. Dude, Anna Pranism. Yeah, that's her name. It's serious though. Think about it. Think YouTube, about it for a YouTube, second. YouTube, leave it in the comments, think about it. All right, since we're only gonna really truly plan out the physical for this week, yep. let's kind of talk about this. So the whole idea is that you're gonna start off with a deck of cards. 
right? So here's the screen. You've selected your missions. You've gone through all the menus. We're kind of just going to go right into gameplay. You have your cards. You have your draw hand. And you have the tower defense map, which is going to have one of, say, many different mazes through. It doesn't really matter how we're going to do it. We're not going to do, like, mazing because, I mean... We all know the you do the exact same well, thing every single TD, time. Well, because the best TD Bloons TD6 <laughs> had this kind of style, so that's the way I like it. I a lot. actually hate TJ. I want you to know that right now. He streams, by the way. <laughs> True, that's me. Um, okay, so you get the idea, and maybe you know we're gonna probably have some sort of like health mechanic, shield mechanic. We still haven't quite discussed all those things yet, but the that's main idea. That's a day idea, three problem. That's a day three problem. <laughs> that's a yacht problem. Yeah, that's uh, later. That's later. And so the idea is you're gonna draw some amount of cards, and inside your hand you're gonna have the cards that are gonna represent towers you can build to begin with. So we're gonna have archer towers, we're gonna have cannon towers for splash, and then we're definitely gonna have a very special one for physical, we're gonna call it a tar tower. We're still kind of working on that act. Uh, wow, Act Holy on it, cow. we didn't even plan that one out. Think nice. about it. Um, yeah. So you better act on it and press subscribe and, and like. like. Oh, yeah, like nice. that, you like. know what I'm talking about? So good, okay. okay, anyway, so you get the idea. So. You select, say this is an arrow tower. You select it, you put it right here. This will exhaust the card, it will go into your exhaust file. You cannot play it for the rest of this map. Yep. And so there's gonna be several rounds on this map. Mm -hmm. As the bad guys come through, inevitably this tower will kill enough of them or hurt enough of them that it gets upgraded. When it gets upgraded, you're presented a screen that's gonna be vampire survivor-ish style, 15% more damage, 15% more fire rate, 10% more critical chance. However, we kind of decide to do that. It's going to be awesome. It'll be a random selection of possibilities. So it, it kind of doesn't let you always pick, yeah. oh, I'm only going to max fire rate every time. You got to yeah. have a little randomness. It's a roguelike. You got to learn how to play the game. You got to learn how to play the game. True, 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 but that would be kind of boring if we left it right there, because that's not really all that roguelike, true. I'd say at this point. True, 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 true. Just basic upgrades and randomness. Yeah. So after you get done playing a map, a map consists of several waves. Once you're done with that, you're presented with the shop and the upgrade screen. Yep. Depending on some conditions, which we will not go into right now, you will get several different upgrades. Not because we don't know it, we just don't want to share. It's just, yeah. We have everything planned out exactly as needed for the whole game. We know exactly what we're doing. Yeah, totally. Nice catch. Thank uh, you. I just wanted to be clear to the audience that we're yeah. professionals here. So here's the idea, is that you're going to be given two tower-specific uh, upgrades. Now these will apply to the tower itself. So remember yep. that card will now get an upgrade potentially applied directly to it. Yep. And then we'll have a card that you can get and play. Let's say this card like right added here. added to your deck. Yeah, it's going to yep. be in your deck and it's just add poison. Right. Get more actions this turn. Get more actions next turn. Right. right. It's going to be one of the many different kind of card building strategies yep. where now you can mutate a tower mid-game by what is in your hand. Maybe that will only last for a round, maybe it will last for the whole wave. We'll be able to do yeah, a bunch of different, different kind like, of card drawing yeah. styles. Or like if, you know, if crit, then send a lightning bolt, or if yeah. crit, then attack mm. faster, right? So that, there'll be some, some when X do Y kind yes. of situations here, you know? Yes, and some will be round duration, some will be level duration. So right. it's gonna really add in some pretty cool or map duration. Yep. Really kind of cool experiences, but you still have to play it. So maybe you can't place a tower, you can only play this super cool action. Right. So now you're trying to balance your upgrades with how the cards are mutating, how your towers are working, yep. versus what the enemies are like. Some of the enemies are going to be double speed, so maybe you want to make sure you got that tar pit going and act. Slow them down. Slow them down, Slow them right? Down. All the good stuff. And yep. then after that, you'll have... Can, you, can we say one more thing as well? Yeah. Can you give an example of what we were thinking for these special upgrades for a tower? Let's start with the sniper class. Let's just say that you get a sniper class added. This will take your card and it'll turn it into something that does way more damage, but you'll sacrifice shoot speed. Yep. Now maybe there will be some cards that have the longer your tower doesn't shoot, the more damage multiplier that's added to it. Right. And you can intentionally debuff shooting speed to massively increase damage. And so yep. your goal is to not just create one god tower in the only way possible, which is always just fire rate. Yep. It's just there's going to be all sorts of different branches and we're gonna build up to it, it's very, very exciting. And then lastly, after you go through your series of upgrades, you're gonna land at the shop, which the shop is going to have a lot of different options. Kind of the more Bellatro style where you're like, ooh, I can see that I could do a base damage increase for all arrow towers, or a base yep. damage increase for all cannons, or a fire rate, or some sort of global modifier. Maybe there'll be amulets and rings. 
right? We don't actually yeah. even some, know some what they Some kind of equipment or some way to equip some sort of global modifier yeah. for the board, yep. So that way these, this will last for the entire duration of the game. Yep. So you have a way to kind of modify that. Mm -hmm. And then obviously the last part of this is that we're gonna have big bad bosses some point throughout all this, by the way. You gotta be very careful when you start with the legs because you can get a little bit of a dangler going on right there. We don't want that. There we go. He's wearing them shorts right now. Perfect. Uh, that's a boss. And Can when you, you beat color him, in the shorts, please. No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna you. color the shorts. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> blur, blur, blur we're, gonna blur, we're gonna blur that in post. Not for kids. Yeah. Um, let's see. So, the big bad guys, the bosses. After you defeat them, we're also going to have ideas that I think largely inspired from Slay the Spire is getting some choices of relics, yep. some that give you, like, say, more actions you can take on a turn or some right. sort of modifier that also becomes uniquely useful right here, but also might come with some sort of damage. Maybe you don't get to see what type of enemies are coming up next, so you have True. to kind of guess it. Like, I get more turns, but I don't know what type of enemies are coming up. Right. So you can't plan as easily, but still gives you, like, ultimate kind of Hopefully, at the end of the game, either you lose horribly, or you're just like awesomely strong, or you barely make it. Right? We want to make it so it's those like, are the three possibilities. Actually. Yeah, no, it's actually yeah. the three possibilities. But yeah, I want to like make either it so that, losing or winning by a lot or winning by a little. Yeah, well, I, I want to make it so that you can That's win. How games like, work? You don't have to win by even killing the enemies. Maybe you can figure out a way to shield so hard right, that, that you like you you just tank all the enemies tank all as the they damage. come at you. Yeah. So many cool ways you can go about yes. this. And I want, mm -hmm. I want, we want to make it so that there's no one way to win and there's like an infinite different ways to do it. And then hopefully we haven't really quite fully fleshed it all out, but even over all of this, a game level multipliers that are added at the very, very end where maybe you have three slots that will last for some amount of time, an aura that lasts for five games He play. really wants I one. love that the idea of aura. Lasts. Dude, you Can gotta you... have the Riz. Dude, it, imagine if you could have like Riz. <laughs> What? Dude, you just dude, you just make all the enemies like you, so they have 5% less health overall. <laughs> they, they feel Riz that. Riz applied. You. Riz applied. Dude, Riz like, applied. There's so many fun auras you could do. Aura. Or are you going to be a bad sport about this? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Got him. Oh, so come watch us live on Twitch as we make this game.